So why am I putting my vlogging camera on when there is no discernible reason to because I'm not going to start my actual vlog a good few miles. Well the answer in a nutshell is road safety and the reason why I'm concerned is because of two recent events one driving, one riding my bike when uh, I was in fear for my life and uh, well-being caused by two very very aggressive men and I'll put some mug shots up on screen they'll benefit if you ever see these cars these men driving them avoid like the plague because they're potentially dangerous these are people with entitlement issues who somehow feel they've got more rights than you and also the right to enforce them physically if necessary now the first gentleman was in, in quite devious and clever because he tried to, well, you've heard of the term gaslighting, so he tried to put the blame on me. It was you that's being aggressive. You've got a personality disorder. He even tailgated me as far back as the nearby police station and kept on with the story. I think the police were uh, wise to his uh, efforts, however, but you know, the sheer change in expression. What did I do? I blew my horn because he was sat at the traffic lights with it on green he's doing something with his phone or somewhat similar and wasn't paying attention so I was well within my rights to alert him to my presence but oh no that led to him getting out of his car starting to behave aggressively and threateningly and then ultimately tailgating me back to the police station which is I found astonishing really driver number two on the way back from Plymouth he was trying to overtake me and I foolishly didn't let him because he was just about coming to the end of the overtaking lane that wasn't good enough for him no 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 he then flashed past me within literally a few millimeters of me terrifyingly and then I even more foolishly overtook him again when the traffic came heavy because he's driving a car and I'm driving a motorbike that was it that was the red rag to the bull he was then tailgating me waving his arms, behaving in a threatening way. And then subsequent to that, I pulled in for a coffee because I was nervous and shaking. And he followed me in there and started threatening me there and trying to blame me, claiming he was also a biker. Well, sir, if you're a biker, you're a very sorry representation of the breed. Right, that's got the uh, manometer, the odometer, the trip meter reset. So I'll go back to normal and uh, proceed onwards. So, I think my mistakes are simply reacting to these people. It's an easy enough thing to do on a bike, but real in reality you're extremely vulnerable. They've got the bigger item, and if they have no remorse or little empathy as these two did, you could easily come to harm in various ways. So, one thing, that's why I'm blogging well, I don't need to blog because it's safety measure. If you come across anybody like that, you've got a record. And I always advise you to keep your phone on you or something recording to show police or other authorities what's really happening. Because these people, they do exist out there and it doesn't take much to set them off. As for me, well, my lesson is better meek and mild than wild and dead. So. Don't respond, let them go by, let them do what they want. Keep back, keep out of the way. Make sure you have means of calling for help. Make sure you have something recording. So there you are, a bit of a lesson for me, but also potentially for others. But reporting to the police doesn't seem to work. I, there's another incident, I'll just show you a quick clip. Car pulled into a one way, the wrong way, nearly hit me reported that incident you know with the video etc I was recording no action as far as I know so you know they say they're protecting you but I don't think they are now that was a completely unavoidable incident and nothing I could do about it he'd gone by the time I managed to stop and collect myself and so so yes keep yourself safe people don't react keep your temper under wraps and uh, survive rather than uh, get injured or killed by some of these 
basically psychopaths. And I use that word not lightly. I know the difference between somebody who's uh, just aggressive and somebody who's remorseless psychopath. And uh, please be advised, both of those gentlemen fit that very nicely. And basically, they have no consideration for other people's well-being. They can't understand because they have no capacity to empathise and they believe they're always in the right. So, better safe than sorry is the watchword. Don't do as I do. No, don't do as I did. I'm not doing that again. Not ever. Yeah. I'm going to squeeze my fingers into a ball. I'm going to count to ten. I'm going to think of sheep. Anything. To avoid those sorts of situations again. So, thank you for watching this mini blogette. This, uh, rueful memory of uh, two nasty situations and hope you can learn from my mistakes dealing with them anyway hopefully the registration numbers are visible so if you do see them avoid them. so i've been andy captain clumsy from cornish motorcycle diaries thank you so much for watching i will hopefully see you in the next one which should be very soon